Alright! Of course, no? Thank you, Coach Josh, for showing that video. Today is the last day of our uh, anniversary month. And thank you for uh, sharing that video to our fellow uh, PE teachers who's watching with us this afternoon. And of course, another great and exciting afternoon. Philippine Physical Education Community, once again, welcome to your Saturday afternoon continuing professional development partner. This is Coach JR, founder and program director of OneFiset.ph. And of course, together with me is my partner. Kindly introduce yourself. Hey guys, good afternoon everybody. Ayan. Wow, may pa sounds. Ayan, ako nga pala si Sir Jeco. You can call me Yami Piggy. Ayan, ang maingay sa One Piece Ed family. <laughs> Pero yan, I would like to appreciate everyone na, uh, na nandito ngayon sa ating, uh, uh, ating, especially ating Zoom meeting, ating premium members. Shout out sa inyong lahat. And of course, ang ating mara sa YouTube tayo ngayon ay 95 and counting sa wow. ating YouTube live stream. Oh, ang dami ah. Ayan. So, kamusta naman Sir JR? Grabe no? Parang ano, actually very special itong mga nakaraang, itong mga paparating ng mga linggo, especially yung last week no? Kasi parang para sa ating mga physical educators, grabe yung, ano, grabe yung hype na pinaproduce nitong Olympics na to recently. Exactly. No? Yes, of course, no, syempre, uh, sa bumubuo ng OneFiset.ph, would like to congratulate all our athletes, our Filipino athletes competing for the Olympics, no? And of course, syempre, take the opportunity natin to congratulate special mention, of course, to Ms. Ha, Heidelin Diaz, no? Yeah. For uh, winning the first gold medal of our country. And of course, we're looking forward that the remaining athletes competing will also bring medals. And we're praying, of course, na makaginto. And fresh na fresh, uh, Sir Jeco, just mm -hmm. this afternoon, no? Yung uh, isa sa mga athlete natin, si Nesty Petesho, no? 5-8 uh, yeah. uh, ang kalaban, 5-2 lang siya. So, come back win yung pagkaka panalo kaya we're very proud and honored no sa ating uh, ating mga atleta mga makabagong uh, bayani ng ating bansa who's representing the sure na sure na sa kanya ang um, silver medal again silver gold, 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 gold medal na si Bert syempre syempre go yes, go gold na yun new gold niya na yun grabe yes <laughs> syempre to do na ba diba? and Mer syempre meron din tayo recently coach uh, yung ating long jump si EJ Kalimot pa yung apelito. High jump. Pass. Uh, pole vote. I mean, pole vote pala. Sa pole vote. Vienna. Siya. Nakapasok na siya sa uh, finals, top yeah. 12. Okay. So, yun na. Finals na yun. Yeah, yun na yun. So, yun din. Baka ano na rin yun. Pwede na rin natin. Let's include gold. some prayers. And yung ating mga, isa sa ating mga male boxers din ay parang nasa qualifying rounds. Siya, hintay na lang natin na magiging mga results. Okay. Yeah, And yeah. of alam of natin course, medyo ano, maganda sa... yung ano eh yung chance sir yes. Jeco sa mga boxing yan yung mga ano yung medyo malaki yata yung percent uh, yung ating probability of winning kaya talaga yeah. let's include them sa prayers at natin. this upcoming of guess August 6 or August basta within August the first week of August babawi si Carlos Yulo sa finals ng vault na kanyang vault finals para makuha niya yung gold doon sa vault event sa gymnastics oh my ding 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 yeah. Yeah, high hopes tayo sa lahat ng ating atleta. Pero of course, hindi man sila nagogi. Being there in the Olympics is something talaga na Abe, very, no, very proud rin. tayo. Lalo na tayo mga PE teachers, napakagandang gawing uh, valuing sa ating mga estudyante yeah. yung storya ng ating mga atleta. No? Just remember yeah. si Heidi Lee, no? 2008, no? Second yeah. to the last. 2012 Olympics naman did not finish. Yeah. 2016, that's the time nag-silver siya. And of course, this time, naka-gold na nga. Kaya let's take the opportunity, lalo na yung may mga klase ngayon. And for those who will have class by uh, the coming months, gamitin natin sila mga inspirations sa ating mga students. Tama, tama. Ding, ding, ding! Kaya, well, ano, va value training, value discipline, and value the ano, yung patience. Yung always yes, yung mga values na makakuha natin. Kamusta ka naman, Sir Jeco, sa nagdaang linggo? Ayun, uh, aside from dun sa paikinig sa Olympics, sa mga reviews nila and whatever, ito yung makaraan din sa aming uh, kakatapos lang ng bigayan ng grades ng mga bata at gano'n ng mga cards. Al al alam ko yung iba dyan. Yung iba dyan sa inyo ay ano din, <laughs> yung iba siguro gumagawa or kaya yung iba nagsimula na ulit ng, yan, ng, bagong, ng bagong school Academic year. year. Yes. Kasi, 
Hindi ko ba alam ba't iba-iba tayo ng calendar siya. <laughs> pero, pero yun, sig- ano na tayo? Yung iba, uh, uh, nagpa-prepare na for another school year. Yung iba, nagagawa pa ng grades. And yung others naman, at kung ano pa yung ginagawa. Ay, yung iba, nagpapay, nagbabasyon. Dahil, yes. alam mo yun, kailangan mag-recharge exactly. para sa, uh, ano, sa, ating, sa ating mga paparating na school year. And, uh, yun nga, is, is, uh, is sa mga, uh, isa rin sa mga aking eto eh, sa akin yung mga uh, na, na 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 notice ng mga nakaraan is um, even though yan even though na merong nakap nakap ano yung bakasyon parang may times pa rin na, na parang parang kahit wala kang ginagawa eh para na pagod na pagod ka ay para ganun pero sir J ay ikaw kasi parang napansin ko parang kahit na ano recently kahit ang dami, ikaw, parang wala akong pahinga eh. Kasi, di ba, head ka na ng department nyo. Tapos, ang dami pang chinecheck. Ikaw yung nagchecheck ng materials ng teachers. Ikaw yung nagchecheck kung tama yung grading nila. Ganyan na ganyan no. Tapos, mag- may kipag-meeting ka pa sa mga admin. Tapos, mayroon ka pang family mo. And ang dami pang errands. Ano yan, sir? Pa- paano mo nasasustain yung mga yun? Like, parang mo na siya napagsasabay-sabay. Kaya ako nga, parang isang araw, pagod na pagod na ako. <laughs> well, Well, siyempre, kanya-kanya tayo ng secret weapon, no? Pero ako hindi ko ipagkakaila. And I'll, of course, later on, I will be sharing to the community one of the things that I'm doing and of course taking in order for uh, for it to help myself. Dahil hindi natin may pagkakaila na talagang napakahirap talaga ng sitwasyon ngayon. And we cannot simply get things that we need for our body through the food that uh, that's being served in the table. But before that, Sir Jeko, syempre, I see, I see, I see. gusto ko din na, gusto ko din na munang uh, magsimula tayo with the prayer para of course uh, maging maayos yung ating uh, not that formal. Sinasabi nga natin, one piece of that page is uh, not that formal program but this is a professional learning community yes, na ang Dida, yes, CPE yes. teacher. Right? Tama, Let's tama. pray. Let's all remember that we're the most holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, thank you for episode 59. Thank you for the life of our resource speaker for this afternoon. May you um, help each one of us to tighten, to strengthen the community that we have. That in all possible means, that is within the limitations that we have right now, may we, may we find joy contentment, and satisfaction to the work that we're doing as PE teachers. Thank you for the life of everyone and may we have a great program for this afternoon. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Yan. Yan. Siyempre, okay. kailangan natin mag-pray. Yan, yeah, tama, tama, tama. Palagi yun. Kahit ano mang, re- ano natin, ano mang sect, sect ng religions or kahit ano ka dyan, meron ka pa rin inspiration dapat Wisdom every dip. day. Yeah. Wisdom. Okay? So yun, uh, check lang natin yung ating, ating mga YouTube viewers muna. Go ahead. Dito um, natin. We are now 121. Oh, grabe naman, 121. Eh, bigyan ko lang ng major shout out uh, yung mga ating mga talaga. Yan, dami nila. Dami We nila have chat. here from Indonesia si Miss Syra Puzon. Wow. Grabe naman yan. Shout grabe. out, no? Miss Syra. Siyempre, ang ating mga suke from Riyadh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> wow. Sila. Ito, meron tayo si Miss Jocelyn. Ayan, isa rin sa mga ating mga premium nandito sa loob. So, shout out po sa inyo. Meron tayo mga taga Antipolo, Iloilo, Isabela, Ilagan, and uh, meron pa tayo, may nahanap pa kanina, may Puerto Princesa wow. Palawan. Grabe. Oh, Jeko. Alam mo, nakakatuwa, no? Kasi tawag dito, nakaka-discover tayo ng uh, commu- itong community na ginagawa natin sa onepiece.ph. Katulad na nababanggit ko na rin before. Dati usually puro tag-NCR lang. At I can't mm-hmm. imagine right now na ang dami na from different parts of the country. And what's amazing is that yung iba nating mga PE teachers na nakabase sa ibang bansa, talagang inaalarm na nila yung kanila mga orasan para syempre oh, oh. Uh, mag-join sa ating episode. Kaya super thankful tayo sa kanila. Dahil of course, hindi naman natin itutuloy yung ating ginagawa without the support and kagustuhan ng ating mga uh, fellow PE teachers na mag-continue ang program. Kaya yung mga tama, feedback tama. na binibigay nyo po, binabasa namin to uh, yes. upang malaman ano po po, paano pa po natin may improve yung program. And di ba kita naman natin yung 1PC.teach? It's not a regular no, mga uh, webinar na 
super yeah. structured, no? Mm-hmm. We want kasi uh, much more interaction with the people who's vis- uh, uh-huh. who's being with us in the, no? Kaya medyo, of course, we wanna make the the chemistry uh, a bit, you know, parang medyo talk show, no? Uh-huh. Medyo uh-huh. interactive. Uh-huh. Kaya, yung po yung, of course, gusto din namin sana ma-appreciate ng ating mga kasama. Yes. Pero nga dito, shout out to si Miss Catherine Hamoy. Sabi niya, One Piece Ed Talks is part of my Saturday routine wow. na talaga. Grabe. Sana makamit natin siya in person. Nakahabit, nakahabit na yun. Parang hindi, hindi niya i-miss out yun. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Catherine, for that. I thank you. Thank you for Catherine for that. Thank you. Thank you. Meron din tayo. Meron pa tayong pahabol. Meron kong kula si Antique. Grabe, nakarating na tayo ng Antique. Oh, and and Zambales. Bicol wow. University Institute of Physical Education, Sports and Recreation. Grabe. Nice. Ay, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Siyempre, kami ito mga taga-NCR, mga taga-QC, dyan, yung mga taga-Pasay, meron din tayo dito. At siyempre, no, shout-out na rin natin, Sir Jeko, yung ating mga, mga ano din, mga ka-Berks, mga Philippine Normal University, siner ko kasi yung link natin. So, Sabi talaga, hindi natin yeah. <laughs> And, of course, no, we are inviting everyone to like and follow our official Facebook page. That is www.facebook.com slash oneficed.ph Our Twitter yes, yes. is at oneficed.ph and our Instagram at oneficed.ph Also, subscribe. 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 <laughs> Hit the notification bell and like Uh, our videos in YouTube. Search for yeah, oneficed.ph. Yeah. Take note of this, fellow teacher, that the YouTube is for the broadcasting of the show, mm-hmm. of the program. Ha? While all the announcements, all the details that you want to get and to know about oneficed.ph can be seen through our Facebook page. Yan po. Habang inaantay natin ang pinapaganda pa po ang website ng oneficed.ph. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so again, uh, let me return that. Announcements and updates, Facebook, and pati mga links doon ng ating mga, ano, ating mga membership links and also our shirt fundraising links nandun din po. And our webinars so far are posted here at Facebook. So meron po kayong mga gustong matutunan pa na gusto yung balikan, balikan. sa mga nakaraang araw. Meron nagkaroon na po tayo ng dance series, fitness series, at mga other featured PE teacher series doon. Sobrang dami na. So, pwede po kayong i-view nyo yung mga videos na yun. And soon enough, pag, nandun, pag na-up na po natin ang ating website, ay, kayo po ay pwede na mag-auto-generate ng inyong mga certificates pa. Exactly. Kayo, kapag na-upload na rin doon ang ating mga webinars ating website. Alright. And, And speaking of the website po pala, ayan. Go, no? go ahead, go ahead. po ang last day. O, oh, last day ng ating discount for our membership. Ding, ding, ding. Ating, uh, ilang percent nga po yun, Sir JR? Yes, because ating... um, we we provide the discount kasi anniversary month natin. Ito yes. day yung ating uh, anniversary, last day ng month of July. Ang ating anniversary po ay July, no? So we're we're giving the 40% discount until today po. And all the further details can be uh, seen doon sa ating pinaka-nakapin po na post sa ating page. Nandun na po. Kaya grab the opportunity to be part of our amazing digital library of all the trainings we conducted before. Yes, yes, yes. Ding, ding, ding! Ayan. So, yun. Ayan. Uh, Siyempre, siyempre sh- shout out din natin yung mga natin sa ating Zoom meeting. Yes. Ayan. Yan mga kasama natin. And si Miss May 4. Ayan naman si Miss May 4. From willing Bataan. To, I'm May willing to renew po. Yes, naman. I'm willing to Or, renew. Wait lang, Sir Jeko. I just want to announce this, no? Uh, okay. uh, baka hindi siguro na nalaman ng ating mga premium members. Yes. Mr. Mary Floor, no? I just want to give you a good news, news today because I announced this couple of weeks before already that all those who became part of our first, uh, batch. first batch, no? This first batch, itong ating pioneer batch ng One Piece okay. that page will be given for free another year. Because of your uh, your uh, support, no, nung nag- nasisimula pa lang po ang One Piece Ed that page, hindi naman madali magsimula ng isang program, no. We would like to inform that all those people who registered until February this year, yan po yung ating pioneer batch, will be given another year of free premium membership. Happy. And of course, 
ibabanggit na lang natin mamaya yung ating mga yung ating mga detalye para diyan sa mga gusto pong mag-avail. Kaya maraming yeah. maraming salamat kasi hindi naman syempre hindi naman lagi. Alam naman natin in every program talaga may mga expenses and we want to be transparent. Maraming expenses na incur. And of course, we would like to thank our premium members for trusting us so that we have funds to continue the program that we're doing uh, every uh, ma- week. No, wala naman siguro nag-business pa na walang ano, na walang investment. Kailangan talaga yeah. no? para para matuloy ko ang programa na kailangan ituloy. Yeah, so, yeah. Sir Jeco, may tinanong ka sa akin kanina eh. Ay, oo, nga. Nga. Sabi mo share mo 'yan eh. Ano yung nakaraan nga kasi, sabi ko nga, parang ako ang recently parang Siyempre, madaming nangyayari, maraming ginagawa. So, medyo napapansin ko, medyo kailangan, nakukula, kumakain naman ako, nag-exercise na naman, nag-exercise naman ako, nag-meditate naman ako, parang po. <laughs> Pero parang, ano, parang may kulang dun sa parang routine ko para masustain ko lahat ng activities ko everyday. How about you, sir? And dahil mo nang ginagawa, like, tututusin nga, kung compare ko talaga, mas marami ka talagang ganap sa buhay. Kasi, ano mo yun? Uh, uh, you're already ahead of your department and etc. Ito pang One Piece Ed at marami ka pang meetings na nakaraan. And paano mo nasusustain yun lahat? Ayun, aside wow. from, uh, paano mo nasustain lahat yun aside din sa mga ginagawa ko rin na ginagawa mo na baka, baka, baka may dagdag ka pa na hindi ko alam. <laughs> well, of course, syempre gusto ko nang uh, sagutin ka agad yan. No? Hindi ako nagkakailan na lahat tayo, we have different situations dito sa sina- pinagdaraanan nating sitwasyon right now. But of course, bago ko sabihin yung aking secret weapon that uh, I'm using right now, I would like to I would like also to share that it depends on the kind of mindset we have. That's why I'm very thankful now sa school no na where I am staying in La Salsobel for uh uh in uh, embracing this what we call uh, seven habits no because mm-hmm. it helps me a lot in order for me to have you know a kind of perspective on how to deal different things kasi hindi biro yung trabaho ng isang teacher nung face to face so how much more that this time nasa pandemic tayo that what we're doing is triple or more than no of what we're doing before kaya naman sir jeco no mm. ang, ang, ang tanong ko how are you fellow pe teacher yan ang tanong yeah, ko sa iyo remember this you? no our image and wellness status are highly important as we serve as an inspiration and role model to our students for them to be healthy fit and well human beings that's why aside from regular exercise and a healthy diet we need a supplement that can help us boost our overall wellness status we are proud to announce that as we continue to promote health and wellness and patronizing filipino made brands onefisa.ph thank you of course our thing partner no other than nutrabad Woo! nutrabad is okay let me just uh let me just uh Uh, Nutra, yan, may shinere na tayo. Nutrabud, thank you Coach Josh. Nutrabud is a proud Philippine-made product. So support natin yung Philippine brand, right? It is the first virgin coconut oil uh, VCO soap gel supplement in the market that is being blended with powerful antioxidants such as astaxanthin, curcumin, ginseng, and resveratrol. No, ito mga toy, very important sa ating health, uh, health and wellness. Take note that Nutrabud, ito yung importante, ISO certified, HACCP mm-hmm. certified, GMP certified, good mm-hmm. manufacturing practice certified, approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Wow, grabe. Diba? Grabe, no? And of course, no? Um, wow, no? Is that uh, those are the, the benefit of this supplement that we can get. That is amazing. Let me share the benefits that VCO, virgin coconut oil, and antioxidant can provide to us. Take note of this kasi baka kailangan mo to, kapag ako P-teacher. Immunity booster. Check. Mm. Antiviral. Check. Antimicrobial. Kailangan yan. Give energy, Ay, heart kailangan. support, brain protection, Iba bone ko. health, diabetes prevention, prevent arthritic condition, kidney health, fat burning, and gut health. Imagine, Grabe. yes, harnessing all these benefits by taking one soft gel capsule daily. Great investment for a better and healthy you. But wait, there's more. Ito po, no? Because uh, NutraBud so, is very happy being our partner. no? Because And we know that you are an important partner of OneFise.ph. We are giving you 10% discount in availing the products. Yes, you heard it right. Yeah, D- get this 10% discount by simply using the discount code N U T R A P H E D Nutrafed. You can Nutra use that fed. code if you will avail via Shopee. 
take note lang po wow, that yeah. Mitra Bud is not owned by Coach JR. All right? <laughs> They are just our partner. All right? Kasi may exactanong. Pero na ako nabasa. But of course, ito yung partner po. Tulong natin. Number one, naging criteria, Filipino brand. And again, yes. ako po kasi ay user na din ito. And nakita ko yung benefits niya. And I would like it to share for you. For those who are interested, you know, want to know more about Prada, kindly check their Facebook page. That's www.facebook.com dot com slash nutribod or through their website the the nutribod dot com yeah so it is also available in Lazada can let nutribod be our health supplement body no yeah. ano yung masasabi mo sir Jeko about nutribod sa mga sinabi ko actually very inter- very and matagal na talaga na ano yun parang high school pa lang ako, yung VCO talaga, it's really parang trend na siya sa Philippine supplements and Philippine wellness products. Pero as I've seen now into how Nutribot presents the, uh, the, the, I mean, yung pack, the packaging and how well is thought, kung paano siya. Kasi may, ano eh, may, may, I have attended one talk about naturopathy and supplementation then and you cannot just mix and mix a ingredients when it, mm-hmm. when it comes to a supplement. Parang meron ka dapat process talaga na pinagdadaanan at meron ka talagang mga, mga guidelines na sinusunod when you're already manufacturing supplement. And, para, and also, when you're taking it on. So, so, the fact that Nutribod has a lot of certifications, and especially by the FDA, it only means that it's well-made and it's scientifically yes. backed up. It's a, yes. yun ang pinaka-importante. Make sure po na pag meron kayong supplements na tinitingnan sa market, in any way, make sure it's backed up by science and also by studies. And make, it, it sabihin, pag FDA approved, merong studies na nagpo-prove na ang, ang product na yon ay pwede, ay yung, yung kinaklaim ng product na yon ay yun talaga ang contents ng kanya. Exactly. So, Kaya may FDA approval. Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> Sempre, yung pinakainaantay natin for uh, this afternoon is of course yung of course yung ating uh, resource speaker who will uh, be our leader for this professional learning uh, webinar for this afternoon. And of course, we are inviting then everyone to join our discussion in the chat box sa ating YouTube or dito sa ating Zoom. Popost na lang po natin ang, ang question for our episode. Pero yung question po natin ay, do you have any experience during your class where you need to give first aid to your students? What did you do? And why okay. should fees ed teachers be equipped with necessary skills in first aid? First aid. Yeah. So yeah. hindi ko na papatagalin, Sir Jeko. No, alam ko naman, no, very close ng taon na to sa But let me do the introduction. Our uh, our resource speaker for this afternoon is a graduate of Philippine Normal University with a degree of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Physical Education, and currently taking his master's degree in the same institution. And the good thing about this. A uh, very young and talented resource speaker is nakita ko sa kanyang profile the leadership okay, uh, ability nito since he's still uh, studying during college. No? And of course, currently he's working as the MAPE coordinator for junior high school uh, ng uh, School of St. Anthony. And at, of course, he also has some experience when it comes to um, athletics and special programs yeah. no? being the coordinator. And of course, he's also a moderator of uh, Lifeline Club, SSA, Senior Red Cross Youth Council, up to present. And of course, mm-hmm. our ating speaker, let me just inform the, 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 our uh, participants that he will share based on the things that he experienced. Kasi nga, professional learning community. Yeah. Right? He will share based on his experience uh, applying first aid in sports mm-hmm. and during PE class. Dahil yeah. tandaan that the PE teachers teaching health education, of course, should be the first aider ng mga bata pag na-injury. Kaya very maganda po yung ating topic. So hindi ko na po papatagalin. Let's give a virtual round of applause and don't forget to share our link para marami po tayong matulungan ng mga PE teachers. Share nyo na po sa social media ninyo. Ang ating speaker for this afternoon, let's all welcome Mr. Paulo O Labastida. Good afternoon, Woo! Sir Paolo. Sir Paul, good afternoon. Hello po, Sir JR. Good afternoon, Sir Jeko. At yes. sa lahat po ng mga nanonood sa atin ngayon, hapon, good afternoon po sa inyo. Yes, of course. We are excited. And now, excited. the stage is yours. Go, Sir wow. Paul. The Thank you so much po, Sir JR and Sir Jeko. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po sa introduction at sa ating lahat. 
let me just share to you my screen. Ayan. Okay. So for this afternoon, Coach JR is correct. We will be discussing about, you know, applying first aid in common injuries during physical education class. So very trend ito sa atin, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga PE uh, teachers kasi we are uh, on online or uh, on a modality na hindi natin kasama yung mga bata sa sa isang setup, sa isang klase. So very important to na malaman natin paano nga ba natin may iwasan o malilesen yung risk ng injury sa mga physical activities na meron tayo. Okay? But Before we begin, I would like you to ponder upon in this question. No, habang tayo ay nag nagtatalakay, isipin niyo mabuti, ano nga ba yung po pwedeng yung isagot dito sa katanungan na to? What are your thoughts on asthmatic students who request to be excused from most of your PE classes? Is your answer A? Allow these students to be excused from class so that their asthma will not be triggered? Or B, ask the, that the student participate but give them modified instruction. Or letter C, encourage the students to participate until they have reached their limit. Ayan. So pag-isipan nyo lang na mabuti yung sagot ninyo at mamaya babalikan natin itong katanungan na to at sasagutin natin siya. Okay. Our target for the day or this afternoon is to identify the common injuries during PE classes and definitely to determine appropriate first aid procedures to these common uh, injuries during PE classes. Okay? Let's start. And to begin with, let's try to go back with the basics first. Okay? Bakit kailangan natin bumalik sa basic? Here's the first trivia para sa ating lahat. Alam nyo ba na tayong mga PE teachers at yung mga teachers na tinask para magturo ng PE, PE classes, tayo yung may pinakamataas na accountability at legal consideration than the regular classroom teacher? Bakit? It's because of movement. Dahil sa Hinahayaan natin yung mga estudyante natin matuto sa paggalaw sa loob at labas ng ating mga classroom, tumataas talaga yung liabilities natin as a teacher. So, ano nga ba tong movement na ito? So, balikan natin yung definition ni movement. Pag sinabi natin movement, it's a general idea of any motion, change in position, or shape of a body or body parts relative to each other. So kapag ka tinaas mo yung kamay mo, that's already movement. So kapag ka ikaw ay nag-blink ng mata, pinikit mo, inopen mo uli, that's considered as movement. Okay? Now, let's try to have a knowledge check. Balikan natin yung mga inaral natin o yung natatandaan natin. I have a question to you guys. Okay? What are the categories of fundamental body movements? Sige, bigyan ko kayo ng 10 counts. No, para dun sa mga nanonood sa atin sa live uh, on YouTube, you could type your answers on the comment box. Sige, tignan natin kung natatandaan nyo pa. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and One. Sabi natin kanina, ano bang movement or change in the position or shape of our body, that's what we call movement. And if you could still recall, no, there are three fundamental body movement. The first one is locomotor, non-locomotor is the second, and the last is manipulative motor skills. Pag sinabi natin locomotor, kung matatandaan natin, it refers to the body movements that the body uh, that you have to move your body from one place to the other. Okay? The cause, the body, to cause the body to travel. So, ibig sabihin po nito, you are moving on to the general space sa area kung nasaan kayo. Pag sinabi naman natin non-locomotor movements, 
these are sometimes called actual movement. Kasi within our axis ng ating katawan, dun lang tayo gumagalaw. Okay? They are the movements of a certain body parts or even the whole body without causing the body to travel. Ibig sabihin, these are movements that pertains to your personal space only. O di ba? Pati yung space, spaces na alala natin, locomotor for the general space and non-locomotor for the personal space. Okay? Yung manipulative movements naman, Okay, these are the movement skills that require an ability to handle an object or piece of equipment with control. So ito na yung may mga kinalaman sa mga skills, motor skills na meron tayo. Catching, throwing, kicking, etc. Et okay, so naalala na natin. Now, let's try to move on and let's have a little bit of evolution doon sa term na movement. Gawan natin siya ng konting evolution. By defining or transforming it to physical activity. Pag sinabi natin physical activity according to Kaspersen et al. 1985. Now these are any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that results in energy expenditure directed toward achieving an identifiable, an identifiable goal. Si movement, yung simpleng movement ng katawan natin, lagyan mo siya ng purpose, we call it now physical activity. Okay? So si, si movement, yung tinaas mo yung kamay kasi meron kang inaabot na bagay sa taas, you call it now physical activity. Naglalakad ka to and from the door or, or sa, sa refrigerator ninyo kasi meron kang kukuni na pagkain, that's physical activity already. Kasi meron kang goal. No? Kung uh, nagsiswing ka ng arms, kasi may hawak ka ng walis na tambo at ikaw ay nagwawalis, that is physical activity already. Okay? Now, let's try to make another evolution of this term through defining physical exercise. Paano natin siya ma-evolve? Si physical activity, gawin natin siyang planned, structured, and repetitive in nature. And the very main goal is to improve or maintain the components of your physical fitness. Kung matataan din natin si physical fitness, it's the capability of any individual to do work without getting tired easily. Okay? And we have several fitness components under health-related fitness and skill-related fitness, no? such as cardiovascular endurance, flexibility, speed, um, power, etc., etc. Kapag ka ginawa daw natin na yun yung goal natin uh, to our physical activity, we plan it, we, we put structure on it, it now became physical exercise. Now, maybe you have a question sa inyong isipan. Sir, ano po bang kinalaman ng mga basic na yan na define natin sa topic natin ngayon? Bigyan natin ngayon ng DM yung physical exercise. Bakit? Para masabi natin na structured si physical exercise, every individual should follow these three parts of exercise, which include warm-up, exercise proper, and cool down. Now, si warm-up, meron tayong susundan na specific flow din. Cardio, dynamic stretching, Static stretching and activity-specific exercise. Now, paano nga daw ba nakakatulong itong parts ng exercise doon sa topic natin ngayon o sa discussion natin? Paano nga natin siya may relate Marami ng study na yun if you're going to search for, for um, theses, for researches over the net and uh, physically through the books. No? Marami yung nagsasabi na kapag ka tama yung yung flow ng parts ng exercise mo there's a greater possibility that you would lessen also the risk of being injured to any activities no kaya importante na alam natin itong parts na ito at tama yung pag-execute natin sa mga parts na ito so sabi natin sa warm up dito pa lang sa warm up na medyo nagkakatalo-talo na tayo kasi pag sinabi ni teacher o kaya ni coach, okay, class, okay, guys, 
warm up na tayo, automatic makikita natin some of our students, some of our athletes, ano nang ginagawa nila. They stretch their muscles, their, their arms, which is, for me, for me, is not correct. Bakit? Kasi kinakailangan natin magsimula muna sa cardio. Ano ba tong cardio exercises na to? Pinaka-aim ng cardio exercise natin is to elevate your heart rate and your respiratory rate. Bakit? Kasi by this time, it increases the blood flow and helps with the transportation of oxygen and nutrients to the working muscle. Remember, if we define cardiovascular endurance, it's the capability of your heart and your lungs to produce or to, to distribute oxygen and nutrients all throughout your body, which is very necessary for every physical activity. Dahil kung wala kang supply ng nutrients and oxygen, definitely wala kang enough na energy to sustain this activity. So, kinakailangan muna is to boost, no, to boost or to start to prepare your body with a right amount of oxygen and nutrient, nutrients to the rest of your body. Here's a very good um, uh, uh, example to compare no, na po pwede nating sabihin sa mga students natin. No? And I learned this comparison to one of my teachers during class, my classroom observation. At yung teacher na yun ay walang iba, kundi ang kaibigan ko din na si Sir Jeko. Okay, according to Sir Jeko, di ba? Uh, uh, an administrator learning to the teacher. Uh, actually, Sir Jair is really correct na tayo, tayong mga nandito sa field, uh, we are, are really the, the expert based on our experiences. No? And, and, and based on, on my experiences, I learned also no, from the experience from the others. According to Sir Jeko, ito daw yung pinakamagandang uh, comparison natin. Now, you could ask the kids or your students kung sino na sa kanila yung nakita nila yung parent nila or sila mismo ay, ay magda-drive. No? Compare natin siya sa kotse. Si warm-up daw ang ginagawa niya, parang si kotse. Pag key-in natin, no, pag switch natin nung, nung susi, hindi naman tayo agad-agad aandar. Hindi po pwede na diretsyo takbo na agad ng kotse. Bakit? Kasi sabi ng mga estudyante ko, nung tinanong ko sa kanila to, one of their responses, uh, masisira po yung kotse, sir. So, ano ba dapat natin gawin bago, bago natin uh, paandarin agad yung kotse? Sabi, ni, sabi nila, uh, sir, kinakailangan muna natin siyang painitin. So paano natin siya papainitin? Sir, hayaan lang natin na umandar-andar muna siya. So ganoon din yung kating yung ating katawan. Ganoon din yung 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 cardio, no? Hindi tayo agad-agad sa sabak. Pagdating natin sa court, pagdating natin sa gymnasium, laro agad. Kinakailangan natin i-prepare yung katawan natin to avoid injuries. No, pag sinabi naman nating dynamic stretching, these are slow movement of a joint of a joint as a result an antagonist muscle uh, contraction through the range of mo, mo, uh, motion. So example nito, yung mga torso twists, walking lunges, ayan. So tamang-tama, after nating tumakbo, after nating mag-jog, diretso na tayo ng dynamic stretching natin. Torso twist, ayan, walking lunges. Followed by the static stretching. Ito kasi yung static stretching, medyo passive na siya. No? Passive movement of your muscle to a maximum range of motion and holding it for a short period of Time. Example of these are our seat and reach, yan, yung mga uh, bicep stretch, uh, trapezius stretch, yan. Yan po yung mga example ng static stretching natin. Uh, there are uh, studies na sabi yung static stretching daw is much better uh, to be done in the cool down activity. Kasi ito na yung portion na kung saan warm na warm na talaga yung ating, ating mga muscles. Tapos, uh, pwede na natin siyang i-stretch to its maximum range of motion. Now, sabi ko kanina, may mga, may mga students tayo na kapag sinabi natin mag-warm up, diretso agad sila sa static stretching. No, bicep stretch, yung ating mga trapezius stretch, diretso po sila dyan. Sabi ko, bakit it's a no-no? Kasi, another comparison, no? Oh, isipin natin, 
na yung mga muscles natin is like a chewing gum. Para silang mga bubble gum. Yung bubble gum, kapag hindi pa natin siyang inunguya, no, kakabili lang natin, kaka-open lang natin dun sa wrapper. Itong bubble gum na to, po pwede pa natin siyang ma-tear apart. No? Yung pagguya, parang yun yung masasabi natin na, ah, okay, ito yung cardio. Ito yung pag-warm up natin. No? Pag hindi natin ginawa yun sa mga muscles natin, para lang siyang yung bubble gum na po pwede natin mapunit agad. Unlike kapag ka yung bubble gum, no, ninuya na natin no and we just try no to to uh, uh, stretch it out madali ba siya na mapunit agad so definitely hindi siya mapupunit agad ano mangyayari no hanggang sa kaduluduluhan na kaya mo siyang i-stretch mai-stretch at mai-stretch natin siya ganun po ka importante kung bakit natin kailangan pagsunod-sunodin yung yung procedure natin sa warm up natin cardio muna wag tayo magsimula sa static stretching kasi definitely no there's a tendency na yung mga muscles natin magte-tear lang yan which will lead no to further harm okay now so after your static stretching you're now going to proceed with your activity specific exercises dito na po papasok yung mga drills natin for the sports like for example kung basketball yan you'll go now for shooting for running you'll go now for um uh, if if that's valuable you you'll go now for the service etc etc activity specific exercises then after that pupunta na po tayo doon sa pinaka main activity natin exercise exercise proper uh if that's a sport maglalaro ba sila are you going to strategize for our game if that is a dance are you now going to build up a routine etc okay after that after your long tiring exercise proper it is then no you should have now your cool down si cool down natin meron din tayong sinusunod na uh, procedure you'll go back to your slow cardio kasi sa exercise proper you have now attained to to the rigorous or vigorous activity so balik ka lang do sa slow car, ka, cardio natin para at least kahit paano ma condition mo o masabi mo sa katawan mo okay unti-unti na tayo naglalaylo sa activity natin breathing exercise is also good kasi nga nabanggit natin oxygen no is very good uh, food for our muscles so breathing exercise keeping our cardiovascular endurance good no will help no supplement kasi naubos na natin yung oxygen at yung nutrients doon sa ating exercise proper so kinakailangan nating i-replenish lahat ng oxygen na nawala sa atin definitely we go back with the static stretching kasi sabi nga natin there are studies na si static stretching very good siya sa cool down kasi uh, in, uh, uh, we are now uh, pulling our muscles to its maximum range of motion so ibig sabihin Kung dati, kung ang kick mo lang, hip level, after the, uh, the physical activity or your exercise proper, above hip level na yung kick mo. So, ibig sabihin, nag-improve na ang flexibility fitness mo. So, mas maganda na yung static stretching natin ay gawin natin for the cool down activity. And then, definitely, the last but not the least, do not forget to refuel. Kasi hindi lang naman yung oxygen and yung, yung nutrients yung nawala sa atin during the exercise proper but also definitely yung fluid sa ating katawan. So then, ngay- dito pa lang, no, by giving us or by giving the students the proper pos- procedure of the parts of exercise, maiiwasan na natin yung injury sa klase natin. No, yun pa lang, first aid na, no, the going back to the basic are basics are already your first aid to the class. Now, sir, paano po kung nag-warm up naman talaga ng maayos? Sinunod natin yung exercise proper and cool down. Pero meron pa rin po talaga na injure sa klase. Definitely, siguro meron at meron cases na may mga may injure sa, a- sa ating klase. Kasi nga, di ba, uh, lagi nating sinasabi, no pain, no gain. Kapag ka hindi ka nasaktan, kapag ka hindi ka uh, at least kahit paano kakapanunggot na, na, na nasugatan hindi mo masasabi na ikaw ay nag-improve talaga so no athlete is truly tested until they've started an injury in the body 
and come out on the other side stronger than ever. Like our Olympians, no? Hindi naman sila like what ha, um, uh, Sir JR and Sir Jeko have mentioned a while ago, shared a while ago. Hindi sila nagsimula to gold agad. No, they start from to, from uh, their humble beginnings, no, going through their uh, 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 what they want to achieve and that is being strong than ever. Now, dito na po papasok yung first aid. If we're going to define first aid, no, it's an immediate care given to a person who has been injured or suddenly taken ill. It includes self-help, sarili lang, uh, and home care if medical assistance is not available or delayed. So first aid no, could be done by your students alone kasi nga wala tayo dun sa, sa tabi nila to, to, to remind them or to take care of them kapag ka sila ay na-injure. Now, we, you just have to give the proper protocol or the proper procedure in giving these first aid techniques no, in case that they injured themselves. Now let's now try to go on what are these common injuries no uh they might encounter during physical activities. Let's start with the common injuries of the skin and their treatment. No usually uh we could uh have or we could encounter cuts, abrasion and chuffing. Yung cuts ito yung tinutukoy natin diba kapag ka boxing ala uh, pumutok yung kanyang mukha o yung kanyang kilay actually those are cats no kung tatawagin niya abrasion gas gas chuffing chuffing might be uh, a new term for you chuffing ito po yung uh, friction between the skin of 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 a person or an athlete kadalasan to nangyayari sa mga voluptuous athletes natin or yung mga medyo may kalakihan na katawan ng mga students natin in between their thigh kapag ka pinatatakbo natin o hindi kaya nagja-jog in place or nagja uh, uh, high knees sila sometimes no nag nag friction yung yung kanilang balat no yung yung uh, sugat na nagko is what we call chafing no what are the causes of these injuries friction from athletic equipment kapag ka masyadong tight yung mga, uh, athletic equipment natin no including the padding and your footwear fall onto hard surface kapag ka nadapa ayan na itukod yung kamay or nagasgas yung kamay yan collision with another athlete or any object yan friction of skin ito yon against clothing combined with sweat and other moisture ito yung kadalasan na uh, causes now how are we going to deal with these no immediate treatment is first no to clean the affected area with soap and water. But take note of this, sa water natin, kinakailangan po running water. Kasi kung yan po ay uh, stable water lang po, uh, the tendency is kung ano man yung dumi na, na naalis natin doon sa, sa uh, injured part, tapos yun din yung, yung same water na ginamit natin, ang mangyayari, binalik lang natin yung mga dumi that could be uh, uh, dusts no? or, or yung mga... Uh, mga buha-buhangin, etc. So, may nakailangan po running water doon. And then, dry this thoroughly by uh, top, top lang po tayo na, ng uh, clean towel. Apply um, uh, antiseptics as needed, uh, povidone, iodine, and then bandage these open woods para hindi po siya exposed sa uh, uh, iba pang uh, uh, agents. Yan, maalikabukan or hindi kaya madapuan siya ng mga insecto. So you have to bandage these wound. So ito din yung same procedure na po pwede natin sabihin sa mga students natin kapag ka sila ay nagkaroon ng cuts, abrasion, and chaffing. Blisters. Ayan. Itong blisters, actually, they are also uh, uh, baga parang wound din sila pero hindi nagtuloy into an open wound. Uh, nagkaroon ng friction tapos hindi nag-open yung balat o yung skin natin which causes blister okay this is uh these are friction from athletic equipment ganun pa din po including padding and footwear kasi nga sabi natin hindi lang siya natuloy into an open wound no friction of skin against clothing combined with sweat and other moisture yung blister na tinutukoy natin as seen in this picture 
ito po yung nagtutubig sa ilalim ng balat natin. Okay? How are we going to deal with this? No, clean the affected area or yung uh, uh, paligid ng blister with soap and running water and then dry it thoroughly. Baka kasi mamaya, there are other agents na, uh, na kapag ka biglang nag-pop yung blister natin, pumasok agad doon sa mga balat. So kailangan nating linisin yung, yung paligid ng area. Okay? Uh, never puncture a blister. Ito kasi yung kadalasan ng mistake ng, ng karamihan. Ano po, pinuputok po nila yung blister. Remember that blisters are the immediate reaction of our body. Ito po yung, uh, ito po yung uh, pananggalang ng, ng katawan natin para doon sa agent na nangyari. So blister, kadalasan nakukuha natin yan kapag ka may heat no? or even kapag ka, halimbawa, di ba po, nagluluto tayo. Uh, sometimes kapag ka natilamsikan tayo na mantika o hindi kaya na, na, nadampi po tayo doon sa mga may init na bagay, nagkakaroon po tayo ng blisters. O hindi kaya natapunan po tayo na mainit na tubig, nagkakaroon tayo ng blisters. So ang immediate reaction ng ating katawan is to cool down that part. Paano po niya i-cool down yung part na yun? By, uh, by giving enough water, no? yung tubig na yon na nasa loob nung, nung balat na yan, yun po yung nagpapakul dun sa area na yon So never ever puncture a blister unless, unless it causes too much pain already. That's the time that you are going to pop a blister. Eventually, uh, mawawala din po yung blister. Okay? So para hindi natin mapop yung blister natin, you bandage it loosely. Loose lang po ha, yung pag-bandage natin just to keep it protected. Hindi po siya matusok ng ibang objects. No? Baka mamaya, kung sa paa po yan, habang naglalakad tayo, bigla po tayong uh, uh, dumampi sa mga bagay na medyo may edge o kaya matutulis, bigla siya mag-pop. Eventually, it will now became an open wound. Iwasan po natin yun. Nun. Ulitin ko po, no, never puncture a blister. Kusa po mawawala yung blister na yan. Okay? Let's now proceed with the common injuries of the head and their treatment. Okay? Very common po, No, during our classes, meron po tayong head concussion, contusion, and hemorrhage. Anong pagkakaiba nitong tatlong term na to? Head concussion, yung kapag ka nauntog tayo or nagkaroon ng collision, parang umiikot yung paningin natin. That's what we call concussion. No? Contusion, yun na po yung injury or wound on the specific area kung saan nga ba nagkaroon ng collision. And then hemorrhage, yung pagdurugo po doon sa my area. Now, what are the causes of this? Again, first full collision with another athlete no? or serious fall impact on the head, trauma from blow boxing. Kung halimbawa, you are teaching um, um, combative sports ayan, no? or yung, mga, uh, or yung uh, specific sport natin for the varsity members natin are combat combative sports. No? So this could be the, the causes. No? Possible then yung collision with... Uh, an item no yung mga ginagamit natin like for example racket or baseball bat possible din po na magkaroon ng concussion contusion and hemorrhage okay what are we going to do or what are you going to ask to your students to do kapag ka ganito po no kapag ka po nahimatay the worst case scenario kapag ka po nahimatay uh, check for the responsiveness kung okay po ba sila No, if unresponsive, hindi po sumasagot or there are no evidence no, uh, na po pwedeng mag-respond yung, yung student o yung athlete natin, check for the ABC agad. When we say ABC of life, this is the airway, breathing, and circulation. To check for the air, airway, you just simply look at the nose and mouth of the victim or of, of the athlete kasi dun po yung airway natin, no? By checking of the breathing, you need to, to, to remember LLF. What is this LLF? Look, listen, and feel. Ano po yung titignan natin? Yung rise, eh, yung pagtaas at pagbaba ng chest o ng chan, big sabihin, humihinga. Ano po yung papakinggan natin? Lalapit natin yung tenga natin doon sa, doon sa uh, bibig at ilong ng athlete natin no just to hear kapag ka, kapag ka meron po tayong hissing sound na marinig kapag ka may hissing sound po 
uh, matic, meron meron yang air no humihinga. And then uh F feel minsan hindi natin maririnig pero mararamdaman natin uh, on our cheek kapag kanilapit natin sa ilong at bibig, parang may mainit. No, that could be ano uh, uh that could be uh already no a presence of 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 air may may hangin c stands for circulation how are we going to check it no using your index and your middle finger again index and middle finger do not check do not check uh uh yung ating mga pulse using your thumb because thumb has its own pulse so kapag ka din po natin yan sa mga pulses pulse ng ng athlete natin baka mamaya yung nararamdaman natin na tibok no o yung pulse is yung sarili pala nating pulse so use your index and middle finger so meron po tayo dito sa sa ating uh, wrist yan yan po yung pinaka common natin na uh, uh, pag check ng pulse meron din po tayo dito sa may braso brachial pulse kung tawagin po natin at yung pinaka madali po dito po sa ating leg ayan po pwede po natin i-check no gagawin lang po natin yung abc na yan kapag ka po unresponsive na no but that is the worst case scenario no if there are bleeding you control the bleeding by applying pressure no doon sa uh, bleeding natin and then definitely since head injury po siya summon immediate advance care na po kapag ka kapag ka po bumalik na tayo doon sa uh, face to face setup natin uh matik po yan call for the nurses of of the school since nandito pa tayo sa uh, online setup or distance learning matik po yan inform na natin agad yung parent no and then call for immediate advance care na okay so yun po yung mga possible natin na gagawin common sports injuries of fingers and wrist and their treatment okay kadalasan po na nararanasan natin or or na encounter natin lalapit sa atin yung student natin teacher ang sakit po ng daliri no those fingers could be jammed or dislocated already pag sinabi nating jammed finger um uh, ito po yung uh, nako corbo yan corbo yung filipino term o yung mga terms natin sa mga trainings natin corbo ayan pag na corbo po yung daliri natin jammed finger ang tawag natin doon what are the possible causes struck with the ball baka mamaya nag-receive ng bola uh, directly onto the the uh, point of their fingers no nag nagkakaroon tuloy ng jump or dislocation and falling on onto the uh, surface with outstretched hand masyadong nakastretch yung kamay natin so baka mamaya tumalon tapos na, nawala ng balance na itukod yung kamay so possible po ito yung ma uh, ma-encounter ng mga students natin no what are we going to do We have to we have to remember riser. Some of the sources could just give you rice. Parehas lang naman po, you know. Rest, no. Pahinga na, stop the activity. Wag nang hayaan na gawin na ipagpatuloy pa ng estudyante natin yung yung activity. I for ice, apply cold compress. And then C, apply for comfortable support. Lagyan po natin siya ng uh, ng ng support doon 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 sa affected area elevate natin siya mas mataas po siya sa sa heart natin yan and then definitely if the scenario is worse you refer it uh, to uh, the advanced uh, care already yan immobilize by by putting comfortable support you are already immobilizing the injured finger pag sinabi nating immobilize lilimitahan na natin yung paggalaw niya and then no if if the your student are not allergic to medicines you could recommend again recommend not require them no you could recommend to them over the counter pain relievers just to uh, ease them out no minsan kasi nagpapanic na yung mga students natin kapag ka, no especially kapag ka dislocated na at definitely may pain yan no hindi nila mako ma, sometimes hindi tolerable yung pain nila you could recommend no for an over the counter pain relievers again if they are not allergic to any medicines now knowledge check balikan lang natin yung ating uh, ala ala ano po 
what is the difference between dislocation and fracture? Sige nga, dun po sa mga nanonood sa atin sa YouTube, you might want to type your answers on the comment box. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Sige, ano nga bang pagkakaiba ng dislocation and fracture? Pag sinabi po natin dislocation, no, a bone moves out of place from its actual connecting joint. Big sabihin, there must be a joint. No, pag na nawala siya dun sa pwesto niya, for example, ito po yung connecting bones. No? Kapag ka nawala po siya dun sa pwesto niya, katulad po ng ganito, yan, tawag po natin siya kan sa kanya ay uh, dislocation. Yan. Pagka naman po fracture, breaks or crack within the bone. So kung itong forearm ko, totally po siya ay na, nakita natin na wala na talaga siya sa, sa kanyang form, no? tawag po natin doon ay fracture. So a tendency, uh, may fracture na po. Sa, paalala ko lamang po no, sa mga PE teachers natin and teachers who are asked to teach PE classes, no? uh, we cannot say, immediately say, or we should not say, that a particular person, student or athlete, has already, or we could diagnose already, ah, okay, dislocated yan. Ah, okay, fracture yan. No, we, bawal, wag na wag po natin sasabihin yan. No? We could just simply say, probably, no, you are not sure, probably that injury of yours is, could be no dislocation or could be fracture. Wag po natin i-diagnose agad. Kasi wala naman po tayo x-ray vision. No, hindi naman po natin na x-ray agad yung, yung, yung certain part ng ating mga students o ng ating athlete to diagnose immediately if that is dislocation or fracture. Ang makakapagsabi lamang po niyan is if that is uh, had undergone an x-ray and definitely the doctor. Okay? So clear ko lang po. Ayan no, huwag po tayong magda-diagnose agad sa mga students natin. Moving forward, there's another another injury no, tinatawag natin carpal tunnel syndrome. Kadalasan na uh, uh, nararanasan to ng uh, mga racket athletes. Ito po yung may mga hawak na raketa lagi. O kaya yung mga bat athletes natin yung may mga hawak na mga bat, no? Repetitive flexion and extension of the wrist. Actually, um, sa, sa mga students natin, very common to sa kanila, lalong-lalo na yung may mga computer set. O kaya, we accept already no, e-sports, no, yung mga students natin who are engaging into e-sports, laging uh, nakahawak sa keyboard, laging nakahawak sa mga mouse nila. Ang tendency po, nagkakaroon ng carpal tunnel syndrome. Bakit nga po ba? Kasi there's a tendency na nire -rest, we, we rest our wrist. Ayan, no, tank twister na pala tayo dito. No? We rest our wrist on a surface, tapos ginagalaw-galaw natin siya with our mouse. No? Example, ito yung mouse. No? No? Siyempre, kapag ka naglalaro, we, use, we really use our mouse. So hindi kaya dun sa keyboard. No? There are other keys na kinakailangan abutin pa on, on further side without moving your wrist. No? Repetitive flexion and extension could cause carpal tunnel syndrome. Ano ba tong carpal tunnel syndrome? Kung nakikita nyo po dito sa picture natin, there are certain nerves no, that, that flows from your, from your fingers down to your forearm. Ang nangyayari po kasi dyan, parang naiipit po itong mga nerves na to, causing carpal tunnel syndrome. No? Ano po yung gagawin kapag ka na-experience ng mga students natin na apa, parang meron ng sakit, parang meron ng pain dito sa may wrist natin. Okay? tell them to cease repetitive stress activity. Stop na muna. Pahinga na muna dun sa activity na yun and then immobilize it. Kasi kapag ka po, hindi natin kinontrol yung activity natin paulit-ulit, pinush pa rin natin yung sarili natin. Inisip natin na wala lang yan. So, uh, the worst case scenario is to have uh, uh, an operation dito sa part natin dito. So, again, tawag po natin dun yung parang nangangalay na, parang may pain na. Dito po sa wrist natin, carpal tunnel syndrome. Common injuries of the knee and their treatment. Common po ito sa mga volleyball players natin, sa mga runners, 
basketball players natin mamaya may madidiscuss ko kung ano po ba yung common injury na nakukuha nila. Let's start first with patellar dislocation. Patella or the kneecaps. No, yung po yung parang covering dun sa tuhod natin. Ito yung pinakatuhod natin ano po, patellar. Patella, no? The uh, patellar dislocation could happen if there is an impact to the side of patella. So nagkaroon siguro like for example, kick. Uh, pag nasipa yung side ng patella natin, there could be a dislocation or this twisting of the knee. Lalong-lalo na po kapag ka yung yung ating paa ay naka-stay foot lang siya dun sa floor and then you twist it. Nag nag nag-twist yung student natin or yung athlete natin sudden twist no dun sa tuhod. Possible no, there could be a patellar dislocation. Kung mapapansin po ninyo dito sa image natin, no, evident naman no na hindi hindi pantay yung patella nila. No, or on on your perspective, no, sa right side intact pa siya. Pero dun sa left side, kung makikita po natin, parang medyo mas malaki na possible no na may may pamamaga na kasi kung makikita ninyo medyo slim pa dito sa sa, sa right on your perspective po ha right pero dito sa left parang may may pamamaga na no parang may paglaki na so yan there could could be a possibility of patellar dislocation what are you going to do rest stop the activity already pahinga na apply cold compress and then comfortable support no elevate and then referral na po riser balik po tayo dun sa riser natin and then again if the student no has no uh, allergy to medicines you could give or you could uh, recommend for an anti-inflammatory medication para lang ma-ease out yung pamamaga tsaka yung pain na din na, ra- na nararamdaman nila eto na yung common sa mga basketball players natin, sa mga volleyball players natin and runner natin. Yung tinatawag natin na anterior cruciate ligament sprain o yung ACL. Meron pa tong isang counterpart uh PCL o yung posterior cruciate ligament. Uh tingnan natin mabuti itong image na nandito sa harap natin. Ano po? Uh kung yung open natin yung ating tuhod, mayroon tayong makikita doon na ligaments. Yung nasa bandang harap, yun yung anterior cruciate ligament. Yung nasa bandang likod, ayan. Itong torn apart na nakikita natin dito, yan po yung anterior cruciate ligament dahil siya yung nasa harap. Yung nasa likod na portion, ito po yung nakikita natin na buo pa. Ang tawag po natin dyan ay posterior cruciate ligament. Yung nasa likod po ng ACL natin. What are the possible causes of this? Forceful twisting of the knee or forceful blow to the knee, maaari nyo pagsipa din, no, or hindi kaya impact dun sa mga tuhod, no, uh, we could have uh, an ACL or PCL. Ano po yung gagawin natin dito? Matic po yan, riser, balik po tayo dun sa riser, immobilize the knee. And then, the worst case scenario is to have uh, a treatment or yung uh, operation po. Pagdudugtungin po uli natin yung anterior cruciate ligament natin o yung PCL natin. So that's the worst case scenario po. No, medyo matagal-tagal po ito. Meron din po tayong rehabilitation na gagawin dito kasi uh, we will not really allow the student or the athlete to uh, walk no uh, perfectly using the the injured part. So meron pa tayo ditong mga uh, physical therapy na, gaga- na gagawin just to bring back kung ano po ba talaga yung uh, pinaka-comfortable uh, na paglakad o pagtakbo ng student. O yung function ng leg and knee ng student natin and athlete natin. Moving forward, let's continue this with the common injury of the ankle and their treatment. Ito, madalas din to, syempre, no, kapag ka, uh, nadudulas, na, uh, tatapilok, mention ko sana matitipalok. <laughs> Ayan, ankle sprain. Ayan, sprain. Causes po nito sudden twisting and rolling of the foot then. So kung meron tayong twisting of of the knee, meron din tayong twisting of the foot. No, o kaya mali ng apak, uneven uneven yung surface, no, na sprain natin yung yung ating ankle. Gagawin po natin dito rest, ice, 
comfortable support and elevate immediately no um uh we could bandage it no to have uh, a comfortable support and immobilize the foot hindi na po talaga natin siya po pwede naggalawin pa so i-rest lang po natin siya may mga sabi-sabi na kapag ka na tapilok ka na from your right forever na po for the rest of your lives paulit-ulit na po matatapilok yung iyong right so ingatan natin yung left natin na wag na siyang matapilok no ganun po yun so kapag ka na sprain ka na sa right mo matik yan for the lifetime daw no uh, matatapilok ka na okay knowledge check uh, you have heard several times already on our discussion yung sprain ano bang pagkakaiba nito sa strain minsan kasi na pagpapalit-palit natin siya no strain and sprain Sige, again, on the comment box, if you could still recall yung pagkakaiba ng sprain at strain, kindly comment it now. I'm going to give you again 10 counts. Go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Sige, thank you very much dun sa mga nakapagsagot. No? Pag sinabi nating sprain, Ito po yung injury of the bands of tissues that connect two bones together, which is the ligament. Kaya nga kanina, no, anterior cruciate ligament sprain. Kasi ligament po yung nag-torn apart, so sprain po siya. Okay, pagka-strain naman po, it's an injury of the muscle. Okay, not the tissue. But it could be it could also be a tissue, but now this time that tissue is the uh, band of tissue that attaches muscle to bone. Tawag naman po natin doon ay tendon. Again, sa sprain kanina, no, the tissue that connects two bones together, two bones together, ligament. Kapag ka naman po muscle to bone, connection of the muscle and the bone, tawag po natin dito ay tendon. So yun po yung pagkakaiba din ni sprain. Sprain sa ligament, strain sa muscle, or sa tendons. Okay? Very good po dun sa mga nakaalala. No? Ito pala yung question. <laughs> Hindi ko na na-i-flash sa inyo. Okay. Ankle fracture. No, kanina, sprain, the very worst of it is a fracture. Nagkaroon na ng bali. No? Still forceful twisting or rolling of the ankle. And then forceful impact on the medial or lateral side of the ankle. Okay? What are you going to do kapag ka nangyari na po ito? First, stop the activity. No, Parang yung riser natin, rest ka na. Immobilize the joint. Apply cold compress. And then summon advanced medical, medical care already as needed. Kasi... May, may, may possible po, no? may possible na two procedure po dyan. First is self-healing. Hayaan lang po natin na yung, yung fractured part ay mag-connect on its own. The second could be no, an operation. So pagdudugtungin po talaga yung, yung, yung fractured part no, by a procedure. Okay? Again, hindi pa ako doctor no, para sabihin kung ano man po yung dapat natin gawin. Kapag ka-advanced care na po yung kinakailangan natin gawin, it should be the doctor to decide kung ano po yung much better na gawin. Self-healing po ba? O yung with procedure na po. Now, to avoid natin yung ankle fracture and yung uh, sprain natin o yung pagkakatapilok natin from time to time, ang best exercise natin diyan is to hyperextend our our uh, ankles no hyperextend natin siya taas baba even yung side po natin yung yung makakaramdam tayo you just press it yung makakaramdam tayo ng tolerable pain no to hanggang tolerable pain lamang po kapag sobrang painful na baka mamaya biglang bagsak lang ng hyperextension or flexion ng ating ng ating uh, mga ankles magka-injury na no uh, unti-unti every day no magkaroon tayo ng hyperflexion and extension of our of our uh, ankle 
eventually may iwasan natin yung uh, yung uh, sprain and fracture. Kahit na matapilok ka on an uneven surface, hindi ka na magkakaroon ng sprain and fracture. No, there's a greater possibility rather. There's a greater possibility na hindi ka na magkaroon ng sprain and fracture. Okay, I think that ends now uh, uh, some sort of my sharing no, do sa mga common sports injuries. Now, balikan na natin yung tanong natin kanina. What are your thoughts on asthmatic students who request to be excused from most of your classes? Uh, oh, as a PE teacher, anong standpoint mo dyan? O anong stand mo or point mo? Pinagsama ko na. Ano stand mo o point mo? Kapag ka mayroong lumapit sa'yo, teacher, may asthma po ako. Pwede po bang hindi na ako mag pe class? Is it A, you are going to allow your student to excuse from your classes so that their asthma will not be triggered? Or B, you're going to still to ask the student to participate. Sali ka pa rin anak, pero ito na lang yung gagawin mo. No, instead of doing the activity, pagagawin mo na lang siya ng mga PowerPoint presentation, pagre-reportin mo na lang siya, or you are going to modify some of the instructions ng, ng yung physical activity. Or you are still going to encourage your students to participate until they have reached their limit. Nasagot nyo na ba sa inyong mga sarili? Okay. Now, for me, ang kasagutan po dito ay lahat ng yan ay possible. Lahat ng yan, A, B, C, ay tama. Depende sa sitwasyon. You could allow the student to be excused from your class if it's really detriment, uh, detrimental sa kanyang health. No? Uh, baka mamaya, that could cause, no? yung, yung physical activity mo pa might cause uh, further harm dun sa students natin sa athletes natin, which we do not want to happen. But the best answer for me, no, lahat yan ay tama, no, but the best answer for me is B and C. Now, you ask the student to still participate but modify the instruction. If you're going to ask the student to do a jumping jack, eh hindi kaya ng student yung jumping jacks natin. You could uh, lower the intensity of your jumping jacks. Instead of doing the proper jumping jacks, you ask the student to do a uh uh step side jacks no nag nag jacks pa rin siya pero instead of jumping nag step sideward na lamang po siya instead of jumping okay possible po yun you lower the intensity you modify the instruction pero ang pinaka gusto ko sa lahat ay encourage the students to participate until they have reached their limit based on my experience there are there are really a lot of students who are telling me na, teacher, I have an asthma. I go, to what extent? Tinatanong ko sila, to what extent? Can you manage your asthma? Do you know how to manage your asthma? Teacher, I don't know how to. Sige, sali ka pa din. Pag di mo na kaya, stop na. Encourage pa rin natin na mag-participate yung mga bata. I know they're, they're hangga, ngayon po, no, uh, wala pa rin cure sa asthma. But you will be surprised to your students. No? They could overcome. They could learn how to manage their asthma by simply asking them to participate in your physical activity. No? Kung kaya nila, let them be. Kasi nga, if we define physical education, if you could still recall your introduction to PE to your students, every start of the school year, lagi nyo define sa kanila. PE is the integral part of the curriculum. You cannot remove PE in the system because it's the integral part of the curriculum. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, from preschool to college, there's PE. Other subjects come and go. May, may nadadagdag, may nawawala. But PE is still there. Kasi nga, integral part of the curriculum siya. Designed to promote the optimum development of an individual. How are you going to promote the optimum development of an individual if all the time you are going to limit your students? Baka kasi hindi pa niya nadidiscover sa sarili niya kung ano yung capability niya. Tulungan mo siya. Tulungan natin siya. Okay? Na malaman kung paano niya imamanage yung, yung kanyang sarili kung siya ay may asthma. Okay? Ulitin ko, all these answers are correct. Pero may level siya. 
A, kung talagang diagnosed siya with a certain disease, wag na po nating pilitin. Kung, kung marunong siyang mag-manage kahit paano, you modify some of the instruction. You still, or encourage the students, pag hindi na niya kaya, stop, rest. Diyan ka muna. Maya-maya, masasurprise na lang kayo, no? Maya-maya, may kakalabit na lang sa'yo. Teacher, can I join again? Tapos magugulat ka na, oh, kaya mo pa ba? Kaya mo pa bang sumali? Yes, teacher. Kapag ka nag-yes sila at sinabi nilang yes, go ahead. Huwag nyo silang, huwag nyo silang pigilan. Monitor nyo lang. Antabayanan nyo lang. Kasi baka mamaya, gusto nyo lang mag-enjoy, pero yung mamaya hindi na pala niya kaya. Antabayanan nyo lang. As a PE teacher, I believe that you could. Uh, you could identify if the students is struggling already. No, gusto lang niya talagang uh, uh, lumaro. Ano po? Uh, ganun din with other, with other conditions, no? not just asthma. You assess, you assess the students first. No? Paano natin sila maa-assess? By asking them to answer the physical activity readiness questionnaire at the very beginning of the school year. No, marami sa atin nakakalimutan na o hindi na nagbibigay ng part Q sa, sa, sa mga students natin. You make a profile of your students. If every school year we profile our students according to their intellect and according to their social ability, no, by sectioning them, di ba nagsisectioning po tayo ng ating mga students, minsan nirarank natin sila section 1 to hanggang sa ang section tayo through their intellect. Sometimes, We are uh, uh, hetero, no? Hetero. Hinahalo-halo natin sila based on their intellect and their social capabilities, no? Kung paano makakapag-build ng rapport. Sometimes it's also good, good to profile your students. I believe there is uh, an institution or a school somewhere, uh, somewhere in uh, Katipunan area they manage to 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 profile their students according to the abilities and capabilities of their students no kapag ka PE classes iba-iba yung section nila kapag ka PE classes iba-iba yung kanilang kanilang group no they are based according to the beginners no into advanced and then proficient based on their skills you might want to consider that as well by having their park you and then definitely the physical fitness testing That could also be a good way for us you know, to limit injury or injuries on our classes. So I think that's it. No, this is a, by the way, this is an example of a PARQ you know, questionnaire. There are a lot of PARQ you that you could download. I, I just downloaded this you know, readily available on the internet. This is on the public domain. So I think this is uh, for free of use. De- de- definitely, you no, know, with a fair use policy, you no, know, you could just easily download this uh, activity. Ayan. I think that's it, Sir JR and Sir Jekko. Wow. What I what can I say? Siempre, no, napaka Grabe. well uh, precise and of course, yung uh, detalye. It looks like we are being reviewed with the. Uh, With uh, uh, this is not in the Red Cross, no, under Red Cross, but uh, the way Sir Paul delivered the presentation, something made us made it clear to me regarding things that needs to be observed uh, uh, in giving sobra. first aid. No? So, and and how about you, Sir Jacko? Any few words to you know, uh, to say regarding the the uh, webinar conducted by Sir Paul? Like, uh, ta- like us naman, sir, like, tinuturo din naman natin to from time to time to our students. Pero as parang tayo din, it re- serves as a refresher for us. And aside from dun sa mismong knowledge about the injuries and how to first aid, yung mga reminders na don't diagnose your student immediately or yes. etc. Ano yung mga ganyan? Yung parang yung guidelines mo rin yun, to control your... Ano yun, yung to discipline also yourself when you're dealing with students with with these injuries and with needs like that. Yung, uh, it's more on your readiness when you're already faced with the situation. Kasi iba naman yung, oh, alam mo, alam mo yung, alam mo yung sprain, alam mo yung strain. Pero when you're already faced with the situation na may estudyante ka na talagang na-injure, iba kasi yung reaction ng utak tsaka ng, yes. ng, ng adrenaline. So, maganda rin yung mga tips ni Sir Uh, when it comes to pag nandoon na yung sa, sa pag nandoon ka na sa situation na may injury na talaga 
Sir Sir Jeco, I saw here in our YouTube no a question. Um mm-hmm. uh, let's let's uh, ask this to our uh, research speaker. Uh, on your own opinion, is there uh, ito hindi na sakto sa question niya. In your own opinion, is there any legal liability if you conduct a first aid and you made the situation of the student worse? Uh, actually, yes, meron po. Mataas po yung uh, uh, legal liability na, at, na natin as a PE mm-hmm. teacher, katulad po nung na-mention ko na. However, nandun pa rin naman po yung due process. Mm-hmm. No? Ma- masasabi naman din po ng, uh, ng due process, if your intention is to really help, help. the student yes. Yes. or not. Ayun po. Yes, yeah. yes, siyempre. No? Uh, talagang on our case, the way we design our lesson, lesson, talagang dapat talaga alam natin yung pinaka-extreme na possible mangyari with the kind of activities yeah. that that we are providing. I, I, I am aware that there are some situations in the future here in the Philippines wherein the student... Uh, Uh, yes, no, yung talagang uh, worst case na. No, I don't want to say the word, but worst case, no, uh, because of the physical activity being conducted by the PE teachers. That's why I really agree with the answer given by Sir Fall na since we are the design implementer of that particular activity, we are liable to that. And because he mentioned already par Q and U, yung physical activity yeah. readiness questionnaire na yan, yan ay something that can give us an analytics or a data who are the kind of students we have no kasi hindi naman talaga lahat can uh, easily declare pero kung mismo with the parents no uh, guidance yung pag ano na yan na pag accomplish ng park we can get the details sino ba yung mga naka red mark students na natin yeah, na dapat yeah. natin dapat natin na alam ang kanilang sitwasyon But, well of course di ba sabi nga na red cross bago ka mag first aid hi 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 i'm jr hi i'm jr i'm a first aider di ba yung mga ganyan yung skill di ba so sa kaya nga tawag dito kailangan talaga napakaganda ng topic na to kulang na lang talaga yung hands on sabi nga ni yeah, Sir Jeco yeah, yeah. kasi um very informative siya kita naman natin sa mga comments na nakita natin dito sa chat box and hindi po natin ma-avoid ang sarili natin because we we mm-hmm. need to give. Kesa worse, wala tayong ginawa. Tinignan lang natin yes, baka. Um, e tayo um, pa yung um, nag-implement ng activity. So we need to do something. And it's part of the vocation we choose na talagang kailangan. Bigyan natin ang attention kapag may mga bata na, na nagkakaroon ng ganitong sitwasyon. And, and because and, of that, sige, Coach uh, Jeco. And, and add ko lang, as always, uh, as PE teachers talaga, we should be closely coordinated with the clinic kung may school clinic yes, man tayo. That's we right. should all, kasi yung protocols mo, dapat clear yung protocols mo at yung protocols ng health services sa school kung ano ba yung mangyayari kapag. Palagi, ang, ang isa mga kinagawa namin is palaging alam dapat ng health services yung schedule ng PE classes. Kasi, yes. kasi para in case na may mangyayari, standby sila dun at madali silang ma-access in case na may Uh, may mga yari. And make sure na, yun nga, katulad nung ginawa ni Sir Paul sa school niya, meron silang tinayong mga club para pati yung mga students involved dun sa process ng knowledge and skills about uh, first aid and safety and school safety para hindi rin, um, hindi rin mapunta lahat ng burden sa teacher. At least meron, exactly. siyang, may, meron din account, meron din kahan din na nakatulong when it comes to yes. Lalo na pag ano na, mga, ma, ma, we don't know. Ma, ma, we don't know with this time, yung ma, mga malakihang, uh, malakihang accidents or whatever yes. nangyayari. Lalo na pag nakabalik na nakabalik ng mga school events or kahit yung mga natural calamities, we really need uh, also to involve the students to so be yes. proactive in this kind of uh, situations. Situation. Yeah. And uh, siguro, maidagdag ko, rang, uh, ko lang din. No? For those who are conducting Uh, online distance learning uh, it, the 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 kind of liability we have in conducting physical uh, activity virtually is very high because we don't know what happened and kung walang kasama yung bata while we're conducting online physical activities yun yung dapat na da- ina-anticipate natin eh. who will be with the children we know we collected already the park queue right we know that the students yeah. so dapat all the means of preparation before that something happened is there 
na itong mm-hmm. bata na to alam natin tatawagan ko sakaling possible may mag during PE class mo mm-hmm. kasi iba-iba tayo ng fitness level di ba so yung mga rule of anticipation magbaka sakali na tayo kaysa wala tayong iniisip na possible mangyari kasi it might happen sabi nga dito Sir Jeco no sabi nga pinaalala lang sa atin yung spill eh, no hey hey are you okay <laughs> yeah. yung pala yan di ba sa Red Cross diba? hey hey are you okay and Sir Jeco, thank you, Shiner mo to. I-shout out natin tong tao na to bago natin i-award yung certificate. Oh, oh. Shout out to Norodin Makadato. No? Sabi niya, ano sabi niya? I'm sabi admitted niya to the hospital. Sige, Sir Jeco, ikaw naman magbasa. Ito yung exact, ano ba ito? Exact, meron pa siya isa sinabi. Nasa parang medical specialist ata siya, sabi niya. And sabi niya, kahit, naka, kahit nasa hospital siya ngayon, nanonood pa rin siya ng ating webinar today. Grabe naman yun. Episode. Yeah. Yung dedication. So, kung isipin natin, very important talaga yung, yung topic. Kaya, well, we salute to you, uh, Mr. or Miss Norodin Makadato, sabi niya, no? I'm admitted to the hospital but still, watching pa rin. Solid na ka-1% to. Alright, no? Napakagandang afternoon to. Napakagandang afternoon and marami na naman tayong natutunan. But before we end, Coach Josh, may we request Uh, for you to present the certificate and may I request Sir uh, Jeko to please award the certificate uh, uh, for our resource speaker. Okay. Certificate of recognition is hereby awarded to Mr. Paolo Ola Bastida for generously sharing his expertise as a resource speaker during the featured PIS Ed Teacher Webinar Series with the theme Creating Meaningful Physical Education Learning Experience in the New Normal on the 59th episode titled Applying first aid in common injuries during physical education class with via One Piset YouTube channel and Zoom awarded 31st of July 2021 signed by JR by Sir Jared Bertolbo and Sir Joshua Ben Villarreal. Cheers and clap for Thank you very, wow. very much. Congratulations, no? Salamat. Virtual okay. clap naman po tayo para Congrats sa ating resource speaker. Yeah. Kasi nakakatuwa, no? We're reaching more than Yeah. more than what we can imagine no kasi usually talagang uh, uh, yung mga ini-invite natin dito ay makilala lang din natin but because okay. the network is growing the family of one piece admin is growing we are uh, we are reaching many great PE teachers who are really doing extraordinary things in this time of pandemic kaya naman no Uh, para yes. sa lahat ng nakatuni na more than 200 people dyan at sa mga nandito sa Zoom, ikaw, yes, ikaw na nga na nakatutok sa amin ngayon here in onefaced.ph. Hinahamon kita. Hinahamon kita sa challenge to be our next featured PE teacher because in onefaced.ph, we want to hear your story. Yes. We want to see the best practices that you are doing in your class, in your institution para ma-share mo sa ating community. Ang ginagawa po natin ay parang uh, tayo nagkakaroon ng, ng professional learning community. Tayo nagmi-meeting every Saturday and sinishare mo kung ano yung pwedeng makatulong sa kapwa natin PE teacher. Mm-hmm. Sometimes kasi, di ba, um, well, of course, may mga conference tayo but what we are targeting in One Piece are direct to the point topics that we need in the classroom. Mm-hmm. Okay, because um, uh, ito yung nawawala sa atin. Maraming conference, maraming mga webinars, but what we are missing are the direct matters concerning our classes talaga. Yes. So yun ang yes. kailangan natin yes. and it's a good preparation for the coming sto- uh, academic year. Yes. Because your story might be something that in- can inspire our fellow PE teachers. Yeah, no? So napakaganda na naman nitong Uh, ating naging episode for this afternoon. At bago tayo magtapos, of course, I would like to uh, also invite for those who like to avail the fundraising shirt. Uh, announce ko na po ulit, na-announce ko na last week, no? Last, last week, that our, uh, res- the recipient of our fundraising shirt, okay, is the President Ramon Magsaysay State University Physical yes. Education Major Students. No? So, oh. iikot po tayo Uh, hanap po tayo ng mga state university na may bachelors of PE or BPE at sila po ay tutulungan natin through the fundraising shirt at ang detalye po ay nasa ating Facebook page. Yes, yes, yes. Ang ganda-ganda ng shirt. Skin, sobra. Presko, di ba? Tsaka itong Presko. shirt na to, ano to, ah, one year na siya pero mukhang bago pa rin siya. Oo. Oh, oh. Di ba? Pang-workout talaga. Yes. And, uh, 
syempre din, no, uh, i-encourage din natin kung sakaling your company or your school or your teams are looking for a, a provider of the shirt, of course, we would like you to, in- to invite you to uh, uh, check the Facebook page of Slick as they are our official uh, partner when it comes to our uniform. Yeah. Yan. Yan. Alam, 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 alam mo na. <laughs> active here kung sakali magpapatahi kayo you can partner with us so that we can yeah free design and free delivery yeah yes. yun ang maganda sa kanila okay so um, uh, Sir Jekyll is there anything that you would like to mention before we conclude for this afternoon? Ah, nabanggit naman na natin na kanina pero para sa mga bagong pasok again this is the last day of our promo for our membership ayan kasi uh, kasi anniversary promo natin so Make sure to to kung meron, kung, kung kaya nyo, make sure to catch up with our promo today for our member kasi malapit na po mabuksan ang ating website. Yes. Siyempre, bakit ba natin uh, binibigyan ng opportunity for the website? Para of course, mabalikan ng ating mga fellow PE teachers yung mga previous episodes na natin. Yes. And you can generate your own certificate using the automated generator in that website itself. Yeah. yeah. All right. So again, this is another great Saturday, July 31, 2021, together with our resource speaker, Sir Paul. At ito naman po ay napakagandang opportunity rin no, para maibahagi natin recorded uh, video nito sa YouTube po no, mm-hmm. sa ating mga kapwa PE teachers. And again, tayo po as a community can make something great for our country by being great PE teachers, by always equipping ourselves through a lot of trainings. Yeah. So again, you are part of this community. That's why we're challenging you to be the next featured Tama. PE teacher. This is yeah. Coach JR together yeah. with my co-host, Sir Jekyll, and to the whole admin of OnePeset.ph saying... Let's break the limits and let's go beyond. Ang ating link po ay abangan sa ating YouTube. Isisend na po namin. Yung in a link. Couple. Stand by, Yung link. everybody. Sir, Sir Jekyll, you can, uh, you can uh, give them some instruction when it comes to the ano, certificate. Okay, para po sa ating certificate, make sure po una-una paalala po namin sa inyong pag-fill up ng automated certificate generator. Make sure na tama po lahat ng details na i-enter nyo. Especially... Yes the email address. Kasi dahil po automated siya, pag himali po ang email address na in-enter niya at the same time yung name nyo, uh, 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 kasi lim- for now po kasi limited to how many certificate generated yun, sir? 1,500 1, per so, day. 1,500 per day lang po siya. So make sure po na bago nyo po isubmit ang inyong form, ay make sure nyo po na i-check nyo po muna, i-scan nyo ulit po lahat ng details nyo before you enter that and para make para wala pong hassle and then make sure after about one uh, about one minute or two you check your email kung dumating po sa inyo yung yes. uh, acknowledgement email from your filled up form yes kasi minsan talaga tumatagal but again the 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 key para po tama talaga ang ating uh, pumunta po sa inyong mismong email ang hinahanap nating certificate is tama po dapat ang lahat ng naka-encode, especially ang email. Minsan po, we have a situation, tama ang email pero mali ang pagkaka-encode pangalan. ng pangalan. Kaya po talaga, uh, magkakamali po ang uh, ma-ano, ma- re-receive ninyo na, uh, na certificate. So again, ito na po, isi-share ko na po. Um, hopefully, ang lahat ng umatend ay makapag-generate. And again, yes. sana po dito lang yung link. <laughs> okay? Para po, uh, syempre, yung mga umatend talaga ang yes. makatanggap. Yes. Sige. Yes. I will share. Sir Jekyll, can you help me? I'll just share it here in our Zoom and share it via YouTube po. Okay, sir. Okay. Yan. Okay. Nandiyan na po sa ating mga nasa Zoom. Okay? Okay. And sa YouTube natin. Check ko na din. Sa ating... Uy, lima, lima ping. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Yan, para at least ma... Ano nila? Wala po kasi si... Wala si Miss Phoebe ngayon, kaya talagang ano tayo. Multitask tayo. <laughs> yes. Wait. Ito pala, ito pala. Meron akong kopya dito sa... Messenger. There. Para sa mga nasa Zoom, pwede na po tayo mag-generate bago... Yeah. And also, antayin nyo po kami, magpipicture po tayo lahat. 
Yes, yung mga nasa Zoom po. So, yan, sinasend ko na po sa ating YouTube. Huwag po muna alis sa mga na, yan, isi-share copy na po paste, ni Sir Jack. Copy-paste nyo lang po yung sinend ko, yung yummy figgy po dyan. Ayan, so, Ayan. copy nyo lang po yung link na yan. And, paste nyo lang po sa browser nyo at magpupunta na po kayo doon. Okay. Na-share mo na ba, sir? Yes po, dito na po sa feed, um, YouTube. Ano na lang, i-share mo na lang siguro mga five times. Ah, Yan, para at least sila ay uh, makita talaga nila. At least yung mga umaten talaga, they will be. Hindi na po namin ito ipopost sa ating Facebook page. Okay? Oo, oh, kasi may mga... Ayan, basta yun yun. Basta yun yun. <laughs> Ayan po. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, so once again, this is uh, Sir Jago, Sir JR, and Sir Paul, and all of the... One, in behalf of One Piece and Admin, We would like to thank everyone for attending this webinar. See you again next week for another of our featured PE teacher series here in One Fist at PH. All right. Nandiyan na po ba? Ay, yung link daw, Sir Jeko. Wala pa daw sa YouTube natin. Ay, nandiyan po. Baka hindi lang po nag-load pa sa feed nila. Sige, I'll try to, ano, to get it then para matulungan. Apo, apo. All right. Sige, i-end ko na yung la. Ay, wag ko muna i-end pala. I just need to get this first. Siguro i- i-comment ko na lang din dun sa mismong video pag na-publish. Ito, ito na. Yan, para hindi sila mahirapan. Ayan. I-pin There you go. Yung... Ayan. I-pin ko na nga para. Ayan, wala daw po. <laughs> okay. Ayan na po. Wait lang po. Ayan. Kalma lang po. Lahat po mga kapag lalo na. Okay. <laughs> Ayan, yeah. nakita na ni Miss Faith. Thank you, Miss Faith. And then, okay na po. Ayan, thank you, Miss Faith. Hindi ko pa napin. Ayan. Ayan. Ayan, okay na. Okay na, no? Opo. Ayan, nagtitank you na sila. Salamat po. Thank Ayan, nakapin na. Yeah. Salamat din po. Salamat din. Alright, sige. We're gonna be ending. <laughs> See you next Saturday. Bye po. Ay, may play yan. May play. Again, discounted rate for premium members only until today. 